Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. It is two o'clock in the morning. I had a really long day. I can't take this anymore. Oh my God, it is itching. I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling it, I'm seeing it. <laughs> I can't take it no more. I do apologize. I'm gonna try my hardest to find this wax online. I did go to Ulta Beauty and get it, but it's in French. And um, I'm not gonna even try to mess it up because I don't want any French people going coming at me. I'm sorry, all I know is wee oui, wee oui, and bonjour. <laughs> Hot wax, so you warm it up in the microwave and then in the box, it comes with these um, little strips. I think in another video, I did. I'll put that in the description box below. I made another video where I use, I wanna say it's, it was NADS, yeah. It was NADS red wax, the wax that you put in the microwave, you put it on your face and then just snatch it off. I honestly do prefer that method. We are going to um, warm it up and wax. Excuse me, I just ran from steps. I used to go get my waxes done at European Wax. I don't recall them putting anything on my face before they waxed. I think they had like this um, anti-bacteria wipe and they wiped, cause I got my chest waxed before. I got a bikini wax before. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll never get one again. I'm using um, baby powder, just Johnson & Johnson. Uh, baby powder to kind of wake up my hairs in a way. So I have washed my hands, 20 seconds. I'm just gonna have a white face. I'm putting on gloves because this is very sticky. That is why I put a grocery bag under so it doesn't mess up my table. It is going to hurt, like the wax is really warm. There's these wooden sticks that come with it and you dip it in the wax and then you lay it on yourself, so. The struggle is real. So, put the pepper on there. Then you smash. You smash it on. So, I pretty much put it like on the top of my chin and bottom. So there's a mixture of hair growing different ways. So I'm probably not pulling it in the correct way. So I'm just gonna snatch it off. So I hope. Mm. What a coincidence, my camera died. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. So that's why I'm showing two clips there. Um, I would just be really careful with the wax. Um, I had it at two minutes, so that's really, really hot. I'm just using gloves and I have towels below me just as a precaution because wax can mess up some really good things if you're not too careful. Um, I will say on each side of my face, I use about two strips each. And then under my chin and neck, that was another two strips. And then I just use a small piece um, from my lip. Um, it wasn't really much hair on my lips, so I didn't really even use a whole sheet um, to do that. As much as I am used to waxing myself, it still hurts every single time I do it. Like, I know it has to be done, has to be removed, but once again, yeah, it really does hurt. So there I am doing my upper lip. Um, the next clip you'll see that I will be using baby oil. Baby oil, um, it's such a thin liquid that it really like removes the wax honestly like that's honestly why I'm wiping it on there before I actually wash my face because it's really good with lifting wax.
All right, so it's the next day. Um, last night after I took all the hair off my face, I did like my nighttime facial routine, which I'll link in the description box below. I've done a video on how I um, take care of my face after I um, snatch hair off of it. Something that I feel like is a really, really main ingredient in calming your skin down if you're doing an at-home waxing is some aloe vera gel. Um, I got this bottle from Home, um, Home Whole Foods. I also have the aloe vera juice. I got this actually from the hair store, maybe for about three dollars. So if I don't have this or I run out of it, I just um, get a cotton ball and put it, pour it on there, and just dab it over my face. It does the same thing by combing my skin. But I'm gonna show you guys the hair that I removed. So, L is for the left side. <clears throat> so, sometimes you can see the hair standing up, but sometimes you really can't see that good. And this is another, oh no, this is actually my chin the chin had a lot of hair on it and it's weird too because you could feel it i don't know i'm weird like i like to look at it and feel it Actually, it's between the chin and under the neck. I think under the neck, I had the most hair. And as you can see, my hair is very, very curly. That is so weird. I, as you saw, I tried to do my lip, but that really honestly hurt so bad. I usually use a razor to get my lip because the hairs have no comparison to each other. Like around here is all curly and thick, but my upper lip is really, really thin, finer hair. So I usually just try to just shave that because waxing it is, it is so sensitive. Um, overall with this experiment that I did, I really did enjoy not waxing or plucking my face every three to five days. Like that was really, really, just a relief not to do it but when the hair was growing back it itched so bad so when I did remove the hair usually I could see I have to go back through and like pluck and get a lot of ingrowns I didn't have to spend much time at all after I waxed the major areas I plucked for maybe 10 minutes after I usually wax or pluck every three to five days I'm in the mirror for at least an hour getting a whole bunch of ingrowns so the good thing about growing my hair out for this long, I had no, not that many ingrowns. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, wine and waxing, and um, I'll continue to keep posting, making more videos. Once again, like always, stay encouraged, sis. You are not alone in this. I'm right here. Every day is a struggle for all of us. Just finding different ways to cope and just to kind of still make ourselves beautiful in our own unique way. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. Stay safe.